Hi everyone, my name is Annie Walters and I am doing Reflection 5, Justice, Chapter 3, Do We Own Ourselves? And this one is kind of dealing with uh, the libertarianism view. Um, so I thought, I thought I would start off by saying um, what libertarianism is, what it means to me, um, and how it would re reflect our topics and our prompts that we have. Um, so libertarianism kind of deals with two different types um, of ideas. They deal with the personal liberty side and they also deal with the economic side. So um, the personal liberty side, uh, libertarians believe that they should be able to do anything they want um, as long as they don't hurt anybody. So, you know, they believe that we should be able to smoke anything we want, be able to harm ourselves if we choose to do so, um, be able to just kind of do whatever you want as long as you're not actually hurting somebody else and they think that that's okay. But, um, you know, there are some criticism points with that idea. Um, one of them being that, you know, you may not be directly hurting somebody, but you're impacting somebody with your actions. So if you were somebody who um, was always drinking and you were always drunk, um, you may not be physically hurting anybody but yourself, but um, you're hurting, you know, you're directly impacting people whether you know it or not because your performance isn't going to be um, where it would normally be. So if you were somebody who chose to get on the road while you were drinking and, and you were drunk, um, you know, your performance may be slower so you wouldn't be able to react in time and then, you know, there could be an issue with um, a car wreck or something like that and even though when you started this out you weren't directly hurting anybody but yourself, um, you've now turned into a problem where you have been hurting somebody else even though um, you're not physically hurting somebody until the car wreck, you're making that decision to get on the road which can impact somebody else's life. Um, the other side of it is the economic standpoint and um, they kind of believe that if you are taxed by the state then technically you're um, a slave to them and that you do not fully um, own all of your talents and um, you should be, they believe that basically you should be able to keep everything that you make um, from your talents that you were given and um, there's kind of a criticism there as well because um, if you were to do that then there wouldn't be um, you know public schools or wouldn't be any kind of social security or anything like that because you would be keeping all of your money and there wouldn't be any kind of money to go um, any place else, so that could be um, a potential issue as well. Um, and so our first prompt is: Is it wrong for the state to tax the rich to help the poor? Um, if you're just directly talking about the rich, then I don't think that that is fair for just them to be taxed. Um, I don't think that the money that you are taxing the rich should go to the poor because um, there's ways for them to make money. Um, you know, if you have a disability or you have something, I know that there's plenty of companies that are willing to hire you because they don't discriminate. Um, Walmart, for example, is a good option. They don't, they're not going to discriminate on anything. They can hire you. And I don't think that, um, I don't think that the rich should be taxed for that just for them to go to the poor because if they're making money, then they're not going to want to work because they're getting free money. And I don't think that that's fair. Um, and, you know, is taxation really like forced labor? In a way, it is. Um, you know, if I go and I work 40 hours a week and say the state takes out 10% of my taxes, um, that's four hours that I'm working and I'm not getting that money. I'm just giving my talents to somebody and that does make me feel like um, that I I would be considered a slave for them and that I don't fully own myself. And um, I don't really like that. I don't like, more or less, I don't like the idea that it's going to the poor because I don't think that that is where the money should go if they can get a job. Um, I think that the money should be going to, you know, the military for protection or to build roads, to fix everything. Um, I think that there's a better place for our money to go. So if the state is taxing everybody to go to the poor, I have a problem with that. Um, I know that I can't fix anything and I know that I'm going to continue to get taxed for that. But um, I think that I don't think that it's right for um, the state to tax people just because somebody else isn't willing to work um, and get paid for something when they could physically use their talents for something. There's always something that you can do to make money. Um, so that's my discussion topic on Reflection 5, Justice Chapter 3.